Hey everybody, welcome to Mike Koski's Kitchen. My name is Michael Shevsky and I'm the chef of this kitchen. And if you're tuning in, I'm hoping you're trying to be the chef of yours and I hope you are the chef of yours, that's great. Um, thanks again for everybody just liking my videos and subscribing, it really, really, really means a lot. But I'm glad we're building this army of chefs of our own kitchen. This is the whole idea, this is the plan of this, so we're gonna bring food to our families, get people stuck back around the table. As you know, in this world we live in right now, we might need some more of that. So I'm gonna show you a dish today that you can make uh, it will last for a couple days because the leftovers are going to be fantastic. It makes a ton. Uh, but also, with St. Patty's Day coming up on Tuesday, my Irish brethren, I'm sorry that you know, a lot of your parades are being canceled and things like that. So uh, I'm going to make a, something special in this video, in this, in this recipe, to pay homage to you. But anyway, here's what we're going to make. Look, pierogi in a crock pot. I'll crock pot pierogi, whatever you want to call it. I have a certain way to make it, so you're gonna have to watch out. But that special Irish thing that I was talking to you about, you gotta watch the video to see because it'll be coming up very soon. So let me just give you the real quick breakdown of what we're gonna do today and what we're gonna use. Crock pot, salt and pepper, of course, cold, or, um, um, sour crap. We're gonna use two 14 ounce uh, rings of kielbasa, an onion, and actually calls for a big onion, I have a medium one and a small one because I like onions. I'm going to cook an extra onion in there. Now, here's a crazy thing. Ready? This is eight tablespoons times two of butter. So 16 tablespoons of butter, which equals about a cup of butter. You're like, oh, that's a lot of butter. But guess what? We're using four dozen pierogi to put into this crock pot. So you're going to need a lot of butter to make sure that everything gets coated and everything gets treated the same inside the crock pot. So yes, we're gonna use pierogi. Don't judge, I'm using Mrs. T's, something like this that we make in bulk. I usually go to the Mrs. T's because they're easy to work with, easy to use, and I don't have to use any of my homemaders that I spend, uh, that I use for special times. So four dozen, 48 Mrs. T's pierogies. Um, this is a great dish, not for your family today. It's gonna be perfect for them, I know that. But you can use this for you know, uh, tailgates and, and cookouts and, and potlucks. Super simple, super easy. You're gonna love it, um, but you're gonna love the way I make it too. So keep watching. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna slice up this kielbasa real thin and I'll show you how much I did it. And then the same thing with the onions. I'm gonna go slice and chop and, and dice these puppies up. Gonna go up to the hot spot, caramelize them a little bit, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with them next. So right now, I got a little bit of work to do, not much, and I'll see you right back here just in a little bit. Get ready to enjoy this, my Polish friends, my American friends, and especially my Irish friends, because you're gonna like this. I'll see you back here in a little bit. I'm going to the hot spot right now. Okay, so what we did, we just went ahead and chopped up these onions and uh, brought them over here to the hot spot. Remember, the two sticks of butter, the cup of butter, the, the 16 tablespoons of butter, whatever you wanna call it. So we wanna go ahead and cook these down a little bit, caramelize them, get them nice and soft. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of salt in here. And of course, the Polish flavor, pepper, lots of pepper. I like pepper in my onions, I like pepper in my dishes. So you can use as much as you want, I like that much. We're just gonna go ahead and keep turning these around till they soften, till they caramelize, and then we're gonna go ahead and put this whole thing together. I got one more step to show you with the kielbasa, and I'll see you back over at the workstation. Hey, just headed back from the hot spot, got my onions nice and soft. You don't wanna do them too long because they're gonna cook inside the crock pot for a good while. Uh, but just enough to soften them a little bit and get the butter all together. Oh, heavens to goodness, is that good? Uh, the smell is amazing. I wish you could smell it. I'm going to take a drink of beer. Because when you're doing things like this and cooking, especially Polish foods, stay hydrated, uh, especially with beer. All right, so let's put this together. You want to see how hard this is? Watch. There's one box of pierogi. There's another dozen of pierogi. These are... These are frozen now, these are frozen. Another box of pierogi. Oh, hard work, not really. There's another box of pierogi. That's it, now, next step, you ready? You remember those onions? Let's just go ahead and put them over top. All of them, at one time. Now, next step after that, let's just go ahead and use our spoon and move the onions and the butter around, get a nice coat on the pierogi. And it's gonna be fantastic. You wanna kind of next make a nice coat of onions and butters on those pierogies because they're gonna cook all together. Gonna to be a happy family inside of all 48 of them. 
Now, last step, our kielbasa. Here's how I slice our kielbasa. Nice and thin, you can see that, little medallion. We're gonna put our kielbasa in with our pierogi. And then we'll do a final mix. Again, I used a uh, 28 ounces of kielbasa. Those, you can use, um, you know, 14 ounce um, packages of the kielbasa so you wanna get it all in there. We're gonna mix this here in a second. Let's get it all in there first. There we go. All our friends of the kielbasa. Last mix. We want to kind of get the pierogi, the kielbasa, um, the onion, the butter, everything to kind of come together. Now as this cooks, it's going to create a little bit of a steam, a little bit of a moisture inside. That's good. You need that to kind of recreate that hydration with the pierogies. Whoops, the kielbasa's fell out. We'll throw those away. But you need that for the pierogi uh, to continue to cook and you need it for the kielbasa to cook too. So as far as being hard to do, this is your hardest point. Guess what? We're done for now. I put pierogi, I put the onions and the butter in here, and I put the kielbasa. They're all gonna cook together. And put this lid on. What our plan is on high for two hours, two hours, and then at the, after that two hours, we're gonna go ahead and take a cup or so of um, sauerkraut. But what I'm going to do, we're going to make sure that we won't want it too hydrated. We're going to put it in a strainer, let it, let it strain for a little bit. And this way, when we put it in, it's kind of dried out. This way, we don't want to overcome this, this dish with a whole bunch of sauerkraut. We want the taste of the sauerkraut with the pierogi and the kielbasa and the salt and the pepper and the onion and the butter. Oh, it's fantastic. So I'll be back in a couple hours. I'm going to turn this thing on for two hours, and then I'll see you then. Keep in mind, coming up with our little Irish rendition of pierogi of, of crock pot pierogi. I'll see you here in a couple hours. All right, so the pierogi and the kibasi, the onion, and all that wonderful stuff and butter has been sitting in this crock pot for two hours. And what I've done every 15, 20, 30 minutes, I just kind of move them around so they didn't sit on the bottom, I kind of mix them up. You gotta be gentle with these pierogies because they're a little soft. You don't want to chop them up or stab them and stuff like that. So we got about, we've been in here two hours. I'm gonna do a final twist. You can see that, it's amazing. It's gonna go ahead, just go. I always dive down deep and come up quick. Whoops, you guys see I chop out that pierogi? Just wanna kind of move them around a little bit so they're all kind of working together. Now, I have about, about a cup to a little bit more than a cup of um, sauerkraut. We're gonna drop this in. This is the last step for these guys. And I'm not gonna mix this just yet. I'm just gonna sit it on top. Cause I want that sauerkraut juice and everything. I did let it sit in this, in this strainer for, for about 15 minutes just to get all the juices out. So it's not coming in here really, really wet, but <clears throat> I'm gonna let it sit on top of the pierogi mixture for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna do one final twist. At this point now, we wanna take the heat from high to low and we're gonna go another hour. Again, flip it once or twice in, in that time and get that sauerkraut all mixed up. Coming up, coming up next, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna to do to add the Irish flavor or Irish spin in, in a homage to St. Patrick's Day coming up and my Irish friends, so be right back. Okay, so we got about an hour here to wait. We already flipped our pierogi around a little bit. Pierogi, uh, our, our uh, crock pot pierogi. Uh, I'm gonna let that, uh, um, sauerkraut kind of sit on there for a little bit, let it soak, then we'll flip it here in a little bit. But, as I promised, make this flare of Irish for my Irish friends and pay homage to St. Patrick's Day. I'm gonna make something that we're gonna, gonna go along with the pierogi. We're gonna kind of marry the two together. So, right here I have about a quarter pound of uh, corned beef. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and chip it up. I think you might know where I'm going. Pretty simple. Just chip it up, small pieces. What I'm gonna do is take this over to the uh, hot spot and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna make up. To add a little bit of an Irish love to my brethren. I got a lot of Irish friends and I understand how tough it is this time of year. What's going on in our world, your parades being canceled and all that kind of stuff. So I wanna show you a little love. We gotta show a lot of love to people. So I just chipped up the corned beef. 
We're gonna head over to the hot spot. You can see all the stuff over there waiting for us. And we're gonna make up something special to put with our pierogi, our crock pot pierogi. I'll see you over at the hot spot. All right, so hey, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna add our Irish flavor to this pierogi, this crock pot pierogi. Very simply, what I gotta do, I took a, about a tablespoon of butter and melted that down. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make cream chipped corned beef. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna take three quarter cup of milk, drop out my little mixer here. I'm gonna add just a little splash more because I didn't get it all. All right, next, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of flour. Not heaping, not, not flat, just, just a nice little tablespoon. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. You don't want the flour clumpy. If you have one of these, that's fine. If not, just mix it really good. Perfect, and what we wanna do is take that, we're gonna add it to the butter. Okay? And what we wanna do is stir this thing so it starts to thicken. Show you how it works. It'll thicken very shortly. While we're doing that, I'll turn it down a little bit. If you see in the back here, I have some <clears throat> additional sauerkraut that we're gonna bring to our Irish flair to our crock pot pierogi. You can see it already thickening now. You see that? Just look how nice that looks. Now remember that corned beef that we tripped up, that quarter pound of corned beef? Let's go ahead and add it right in there. Look at that. See how simple that is? A little bit of milk, a little bit of flour, corned beef and some heat. And just so we don't forget any kind of flavors, let's put a little bit of pepper on this and just a little sprinkle of salt. Perfect. Let's mix it all together. And we'll take this back over to our Workstation, I'm going to show you how we're going to plate these two types of crock pot pierogi. That, my friends, cream chipped corned beef. I'll see you back over at the hot, or see you back over at the uh, workstation. Okay, hey, we're back. This is where the fun begins. Our crock pot pierogi is done. Fantastic. Remember, I told you that I wanted to make something to pay homage to my Irish brothers and sisters out there because I love you too. We both like the same kind of uh, uh, variations of, of libation which would be beer or something to drink. Um, but again, this is a tough time right now, and I know a lot of your parades are being canceled for your Irish, for your St. Paddy's Day, so I wanted to make something in your homage, but I'll keep it Polish. So here's what we're gonna do. We're still gonna keep it Polish, but we're gonna add a little bit of Irish flair. We're gonna take one pierogi, two pierogi, three pierogi. Now, remember that chipped, cream chipped um, corned beef? We're gonna add a little bit on top of the pierogi. I don't think it's gonna turn out bad, actually. Put all kinds of stuff on pierogi. So we're just Irish, at, uh, Irish tizing it a little bit. And then of course, you gotta have corned beef with a little bit of sauerkraut. So Irish friends, that's how you're gonna do it. Now, we go ahead and give it a shot, just so it's okay for everybody. I'm gonna take some pierogi with uh, some corn chip, or uh, some cream corned beef on there and some sauerkraut. Mm, that's not too bad. I mean, it's not bad at all. Mm -hmm. You'll love this, you'll love this. But guess what? The Polish version is coming up next. I'll be right back. You know what? This is pretty good. It's not bad, but you know what? There's a little thing that everybody always says. On St. Patrick's Day, everybody is a little bit Irish, except us Polish. We're always Polish. Let me show you how the Polish flavor is. Same approach. Gonna take a bot. Gonna take a pierogi. A couple of them. another one to it why not we got the cheese pierogi, um, cheese and potato pierogi we have some onion on there we have some butter here's what we do in Poland and in, in, in Polish food take the kielbasa add that to the tops now 
that, my friends, is the Polish version. Irish version, not too bad. But this is to die for. Let me test it. Mm. You got pierogi, kabaki. I got onion, I got butter. Got salt and pepper. Mm. Look, just look how much left uh, that is left in here. Ton of pierogi left in this thing. This thing you can eat off in probably a couple, three days. Again, it's a tough time in our world. Make some dishes that can last a few days, let folks eat them. Some kids are staying home from school. And um, you know, bring it back around the table. Look, the Irish is great. I love you guys. So we actually Irish something a little bit, but never, ever, ever sacrifice the love and joy. And my gosh, look at my shirt, Polish power, because it's the best. Thanks to them. I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoy this. You saw how simple it was. God bless you. Stay safe. Take care of your families. Take care of yourself. And nostrovia.